Hi guys, today we're talking about quantum physics and the uncertainty principle. So over here to the right, uh, we've got Warner Heisenberg. And in 1927, he came up with the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. And in a nutshell, the uncertainty principle basically says that it is impossible to know both the position and momentum of a particle with arbitrary precision at any given time. And basically what he's saying is if we know the position of a particle, so delta x, say we, we know the position of a particle, or x, uh, with greater precision, its momentum is going to be more uncertain. However, if we know the momentum of a particle with greater precision, then its position becomes more uncertain. So another way to write this uh, is uh, the change in x or delta x is greater than or equal to h divided by the change in momentum times 4 pi. So in this problem, it says an electron and a 0 0.04 kilogram bullet each have a velocity of magnitude of 460 meters per second, accurate up to within 0.0100%. Within what lower limit could we determine the position of each object along the direction of velocity? So when we do this, uh, what we need to find is this delta P. And now imagine if we were to be uh, more accurate with the momentum, okay? So let's say we were extremely accurate, like 0.000001%. Um, so as this gets smaller and smaller, which, you know, is more accurate, okay? Uh, this number is going to become larger, meaning that we are more uncertain of the position of x. Alright, so it's kind of like trying to find a nice balance between uh, basically how certain you are with one or the other to find uh, the certainty of this position. However, uh, it's important to note when you're talking with really small things, uh, at the, uh, you know, extremely small, uh, like, subatomic levels, our uncertainties are going to be much higher. Uh, when we get into the macroscopic world, like with this 0 0.04 kilogram bullet, uh, the uncertainty is going to be much, much smaller, uh, which means we will know more accurately where uh, this object is. All right, so we need to find delta P of the electron. And that is just your mass times your velocity uh, times uh, your percent of accuracy. Okay, so we know that the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. All right, now we're going to multiply that uh, by the speed, which is 460 meters per second, and then times this percentage. Now remember, if uh, with when, when you're dealing with this, you might be tempted to just put 0 0.01. Well, you can't do that because it's a percent, right? If you had, let's say, 5% and you multiplied it by uh, $1, would you get five dollars? No, you have to draw, drag it over two places. Okay, so you do the same thing with here. So we're going to add two zeros. So we're going to say point zero zero and then uh, zero one. All right. So it's the same thing. If we were to do this, we move over two. So we got three zeros. All right. And when we do that, we get. 4.19 times 10 to the negative 30 second. All right. So we substitute that in and we say h divided by 4.19 uh, times 
10 to the negative 32nd power uh, multiplied by 4 pi okay and it's going to give us one point two five times ten to the negative third meters okay so or since it's to the negative three we can just say uh, one point is that let's see here one point yes yeah, so it's going to round up so one point two six one point two six millimeters which is not really accurate I mean uh, I mean you're talking about we can only measure the accuracy is only within 1.26 millimeters and that's like best case scenario okay now let's do this bullet so we've got the delta P of the bullet alright it's going to equal uh, your mass which is 0 0.04 kilograms times 460 times point zero 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 one and we get one point eight four to the third all right one point eight four times ten to the uh, negative third sorry all right and then we're just going to substitute uh, okay so then we're just going to substitute this we're gonna put it right here. Same thing. That's the same thing. What we did, uh, you know, for the second part, we we put it in there. And when we do that, we get 2.87. It's gonna be 2.87 times 10 to the negative 32nd. So this uncertainty is extremely small, which means that we can be certain uh, that this bullet is going to be within uh, 2.87 times 10 to the negative 30 second meters. So we're pretty confident we know where the position of this bullet's going to be. However, like I said, when we get to uh, when we get to this, uh, these electrons, when we're talking about subatomic particles. Um, the uncertainty is much higher, meaning the certainty of where it's going to be at or the momentum is much lower. And uh, that's how you solve that kind of problem.